So today what we're gonna make is a roasted bell pepper tartare. It starts out with the bell pepper, and this is what's gonna become the, the ground beef of the tartare. And so what I do is I take it and just put it directly on the fire. Just kind of leave it there and keep rotating it, and the skin's gonna get nice and charred, and it's gonna allow the skin to actually be pulled off the pepper. In other words, we don't use the black part. It, you scrape it off. I mean, you could use it. You could actually take it and like blend it into a salad dressing or something mm. like that, and you could have like a roasted pepper skin mm. kind of hint into a dressing. Okay. It actually adds depth of flavor, and it's a whole new like flavor profile. These are the peppers after the the skin has been been scraped off, and so it's it's really easy to do. And I just took I took a paring knife and did it. So all these little bits that are on there, you can just they pull right off after you've scraped the skin off. Fillet the pepper open like this. Scoop all the seeds out, and then I press it in between paper towels. So you that, need a cut ball? Yeah, thank you. So that you can get that, that meat quality that we're looking for. And then I, I do that right before I start mincing it. If you want to chop that. So if you want to add the peppers to the bowl, we're going to start to make the tartare. What's These are that? just chopped up capers. You can just kind of dump it in. I've got the mayonnaise. Just a, take a scoop out of it. You can put all of it. I actually okay. measured it all according to the recipe. Do we stir Dress it, it up? Yeah, you can bit. stir that up. And you want to stir it until everything kind of turns red, because what happens is the pepper will stain everything else that's in there. So Look, you put it on the plate. so awesome. And then you have these flowers. Did you want to use those for anything? When I think of tartare, I think of pepper. Nasturtiums taste peppery, so they're not just edible flowers, they're peppery edible flowers. And so I always try to garnish with things that have purpose. If you guys want to want to get into that and taste it. The heat from the pepper wow. sauce with the Worcestershire, that oh, it just crazy. pops in your mouth. It's that really is good. amazing. Thank you very much. And here is my secret ingredient. Hi. Do you know who Janice is? <laughs> How are you? Oh. Oh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> this isn't my recipe at all. This is literally Janice's this is my recipe. recipe. Oh, okay. <laughs> We've all had moments in our personal or professional lives when it becomes difficult to stay motivated. Erica Diamond is with us to share how to stay inspired. She's a life coach and the founder and editor-in-chief of the highly successful blog, Women on the Fence.